Now, um, I'm going to quickly show what an auction inside report looks like. And for those of you that are listening in a podcast, I will just read the columns for you. But an auction inside is nothing more than a table that tells you how you're doing from a performance standpoint. What do I mean by that? Uh, it's going to give you an impression share, which is nothing more than how many times you are uh, appearing for every 100 searches of your terms. It is going to show you an average position, which has been removed recently, an overlap rate, which tells you how many times you're showing up with any specific other competitor, the position above rate or top of page rate, where basically it shows you how many times you're on top of the page, and the absolute top of the page rate, which is how many times you're position one. There is then the outranking share, which is another column that tells you how many times a competitor is outranking you, aka showing up above you. Now, the auction insight is a very useful tool. Why is it a very useful tool? First of all, you can uh, understand how your competitors are bidding, because if, for example, you know that with your bidding, you would need to spend more in terms of cost per conversion to get more market share, you can kind of understand more or less how much their cost per conversion is and what margins they are and what strategy they have from a business model standpoint. But more importantly, uh, what I do for my client is I get weekly snapshot of our um, auction insights and I tell them, okay, this week you were position number one and your lead quality told me was exceptional. Another week you were position two and you told me the lead quality was still exceptional. The week you were position three, you told me the lead quality was so and so. So now I start understanding the importance of my position on page and impression share and top of rate, a top of page at our ranking rate. And I can correlate it with how engaged those kind of clicks are. And believe it or not, one of our clients literally changed their business completely as a result of that. They used to get leads for $300. We did that experiment. We correlated the data. Turns out if he spends $900 per lead, is getting much better leads and his profits went up 200%. So the kind of health helps me tell the client, this is like a data analysis exercise and lead quality doesn't have anything to do with lead cost. You can pay more and the quality is going to be 10 times higher, but you need to experiment, right? So that's how I use auction insights, you know, rather than just reporting it to the client. Alex, uh, when it comes to auction insights, given that Google also removed the average position, uh, do you have any suggestion on ways to basically uh, integrate what I said to make sure that people can actually take advantage of such a valuable report? I mean, firstly, uh, I, mean, I mean, I must say kudos to you. I mean, incredible uh, sort of data delivery in terms of getting getting a client to sort of change change sort of the, the willingness of spending something that up front will look very expensive, but actually up front or like later on, it's it actually turns out a lot cheaper because of quality. So, I mean, yeah. well done. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, and it takes time, but you know, it's like people focus on the cost per lead so much, but they forget that you are competing in a bid and uh, First click, second click, third click, fourth click, the behavior and the type of users are completely different. They're not going to be the same person. I mean, and I mean, I think like it's, it's also, I mean, I've used it, I, I mean, in, in less sort of complex ways, but I mean, a lot of clients, they, they aren't familiar with us and the reason that's why they speak to us and they actually would like to know who, who else is out there who of my competition is out there sort of doing what we're doing and how much estimated are they spending and where are they and how frequent are they? And, you, you know, they want also info because, you know, businesses, they want to win. <laughs> um, so, I mean, so I haven't actually, I've incorporated it to, to sort of showcase it uh, in, in sort of a, a, a easier way and um, more to give the insights and um, often i i integrate uh, most campaigns not to focus on lead uh, at all uh, we we don't focus on driving leads our business is to sort of drive you know almost like a full funnel 
uh, where then sort of includes an additional amount of conversion steps. So, I mean, then out of curiosity, I mean, throwing the question back at you, um, I mean, do you have a smarter way? Because, I mean, you know, having X amount of clients and, you know, there's a lot of, I mean, there will be a lot of accounts to go into. Um, do you create, have you created a locker report or Google Data Studio or, or do you use a different type of reporting tool to gain these type of sort of data insights to, to sort of work on your own intuition and, and therefore so, experience? So when it comes to auction insights, uh, you can get the report like pulled up, right? But yeah. the, it all comes down to really knowing your client's business, right? Because I knew I've worked with this company, for example, for three years now. So I knew and I have a very good relationship with the owner of the company, meaning that we speak almost daily because they have a very big budget as well. So I know the challenges of the company, the trouble in getting more volume where it comes from. I know that getting more volume will come from offsite optimization to get the CPA down to then get more volume. So I have a very clear picture, right? And having a budget that was competing for like one of the top impression share in that market, I knew that we were in a position where our data was speaking the truth, meaning that our conversion rates were great. We could do small improvements, right? But I also then look at a competitor and I can kind of see what's going on there. And when I saw such a big difference, like we were at 14% impression share and we were probably spending $120,000 a month. That means that there is more market, but I also know that that more market came at a CPA that is higher than what we have. And I know higher than that CPA, no company is going to be profitable in that, in that business, right? So I'm like, okay, either this company is not sending the service to the client because there is no way to make profit or they must have uh, huge upsells. And that wasn't an industry with huge upsells. So where you take a loss to acquire a customer, that's all of that came down into, it must be a spam basically. I mean, awesome revelation. And I mean, imagine the amount of businesses that do exist in, in the in sort of on the World Wide web today that is doing this um, oh, yeah. every day. And that keeps, keeps popping up like mushrooms. And I mean, there aren't that many Rocco's uh, sort of, knowing their data that well. 